Hey everybody, Russ Matter here. Welcome to part 13 of my Steins Gate Let's Play. In the last episode, we are trying to help Suzaha fix the time machine that uh, ended up being that satellite thingy that crashed into that building. So that is the time machine that she used to come back to this time and uh, she is going to time leap back again to 1975 to try and get an IBN 5100, but we found out that when she does do that time leap, she's not able to come back. So uh, that's kind of a bummer. And uh, we were also trying to help Suzaha find the um, identity of her father. And I got some theories about it, but I'm interested to see if we're going to find out the answer maybe in this episode and see if I'm right or not. So without further ado, let's get back into it and let's see what happens next. The next day, as night falls, I summon all lab mems except Kurisu to Radikon. It's boiling hot on the rooftop, even in the evening. When I provide Dara with the refreshing gift of cola, his sweaty face lightens up. Oh, Okari! Koko de kinkin ni hieta, kalori zero no cola no sashire toka, kiga kiki sugi daro! Daru happily takes the cola and chugs it straight from the bottle. Afterwards, Daru and Suzaha start discussing the time machine. Mayuri and I watch from a short distance away. ねえ、ねえ、操作がとっても難しいんだって。重力運たらかんたら装置の座標がちょっとでもずれるとね。タイムマシンごとゼリーマンになっちゃってプルンプルンかなんだそうです。しかもね、あのタイムマシンってセル製じゃないからあんまり
a refreshing breeze, breeze blows by. It was quite hot a few minutes ago, but the temperature is finally starting to drop. <laughs> yeah, now he like, now he knows what she means by that. <laughs> After a moment's hesitation, I give a little nod. あたしの知ってる人は誰もいなくて。戦ってばっかりだった私の時代とは全然違ってて。この時代の方がすごく平和なのにさ。なんだか私にとってはすごく怖かった。でもさ、今こうして自分の全てをさらせる友達。うん。仲間ができた。私が生まれる前に生きていた人たちと出会えて、私のためなんかにみんな頑張ってくれてる。それってとっても奇妙で。だけど、とっても嬉しいんだよね。その気持ちは本当だから。I've heard these words before, just like last time. Her tone is wistful. The truth I heard from Daru plays in my head in an endless refrain. It's amazing how the difference in the background music can uh, change the tone of the scene, whereas before it was like very kind of sweet and bitter, so now it's got like this kind of dark undertone to it, this sad undertone. <laughs> I shake my head. とにかくさ、喧嘩すら起きない。およそ争いって名の付くものは、ミクロなものからマクロなものまで、全部消えちゃった。その代わり、みんな死んだ魚みたいな目をしてた。誰も 歩くみんなロボットみたいだった。この前、君が私にすごく怒ったでしょ。あの時、すごくびっくりして、すごくショックだったんだけど。<laughs> Suzuha looks at the time machine. Daru and Mayuri are standing next to it, talking cheerfully about something or another. She smiles then, a soft, sad smile that tears at my heart. This time I know what that smile means. Suzuha obviously knew from the beginning that if she would travel to 1975, she could never return. 
First time I heard her speak these words, I thought she was sentimental because she couldn't return to her original 2036. I was wrong. Forget about 2036. She can't even return here to 2010, not without living 35 years. She'll be 54 when 2010 comes around. The present us and the present Susaha can never meet again. Susaha chose this mission. To change the future. To save Mayuri. Unless Suzaha travels to 1975, Myri will die. Ooh, do I have a choice here? Hmm. I know there's multiple endings, so... But then, what about Suzaha herself? It's like, forget my longtime childhood friend, I want to keep around this girl that I've known for, like, two weeks. <laughs> when she leaves for 1975, she'll have to sacrifice everything she has here. How does she feel about that? <laughs> どういうこと Wow, way to make her feel like you know, good about her decision. Susaha frowns. Suzaha's expression suddenly hardens. Atashi おれは誰が止めたら。争いがあって悲しい時もある。そんな人生を私が生まれた時代の人たちに送ってもらいたいし、未来を変えればきっと父さんもシーナマユリも君もセルンに殺されることなくなるだろうから。エゴかもしれないけど、私は行く。そのため
Suzaha isn't from this time. If she doesn't want to stay, then I have no reason to keep her from leaving. Suzaha finishes securing her bicycle and turns to us with a soft smile. It's not the painful force smile I saw yesterday. We don't perform a startup test. Activating the time machine would draw too much attention. So we're just going to wing it. Fortunately, we have the time leap machine for insurance. My only regret is that we couldn't find her father. Oh, are we not gonna find out? <laughs> <sighs> Once again, please tell me I'm not right, because then that just makes it so much grosser. The lab mems pat Suzaha on the shoulder and offer words of encouragement, each in his or her own way. Suzaha offers me her father's pin. O-S-H-M-A-7-0-1-0. In the end, we couldn't decipher the inscription. I wonder if... Uh, maybe I did things wrong? Maybe I'll have to... I don't know. Maybe I'll find out in another timeline or another ending or something. I don't know. Oh my. Is she regretting her decision to leave? Is this pin meant to be proof that Amane Suzaha was here with us in this time? Oh, you got some info? Daru hesitates for a moment, then steps forward. Oh yeah, there was a thing that he did where he was trying to make a copy of it, right? ラボメンの証しつか。はあ。それすっごくいいかもだよ。珍しく気が利くじゃない。なんか<笑><笑> I stay silent. There's nothing I can say. I could stop Suzaha from leaving if I tried. But unless she goes, I can't save Myri. I... Hi hi! Pampakapa! Koko de Mayushi kara jyudai na hapyo ga arimasu! Myri suddenly raises her hands and calls for attention. As usual, she completely fails to sense the gravity of the situation, though I suppose it's our fault for not telling her the truth about Suzaha's time machine. In any case, she has my attention. What could her announcement be? Could Myri have found out that she's fated to die? I don't think she'd be so happy about it. I quickly glance at Karisu, but she seems as just as confused as I am. Then what is it? <laughs> What? What? Did she really, though? Or did she think she did? Maji. <laughs> yeah, let's wait, really, like, literally, if she's about to leave to announce this. Mayuri puffs out her chest proudly. Oh my gosh, am I right? It's Daru or Okabe. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Everyone, including me, starts looking around. Myri has us hook, line, and sinker. I scan the empty event hall, but there's no one else here. Where could he be? <laughs> She's so freaking cute. Myri flashes Suzaha a grin. Just say it, just say it. Oh! By God, I got it! I was right! I was hoping it wasn't gonna be him because he's been saying gross things about her, but oh my. How did you. I need to know how Myri found this out. Oh my god, I was actually right about something. She thrusts her finger at Daru. Our mouths drop. 
After awkward silence comes awkward laughter. そのロジックはジョークになってないでしょう。そもそもこの変態が結婚なんてできるわけないし。ちょ、その言い草ひどくね。Okay, Myri, what's your explanation, please? いや、クリスティーナの言い草に全面的に同意する。だるは、三十歳を超えて魔法使いにクラスチェンジするのが確定だ。<laughs> Is it? Did she look into the mother? Like I kept suggesting. Did she like go with, like, because everyone forgot about like the mom? Maybe Myri was smart about that. <laughs> Daru falls to his hands and knees, devastated. As for Suza herself, she clearly doesn't know how to react. Uh, <laughs> People can change. Damn, Oh, it's even worse when it comes from someone who's as sweet as Mayuri, because she, you know, she only, she's only telling the truth and she's not meaning to be mean. <laughs> Harsh. Oh, でね、ジーって見てたら、七ゼロ一ゼロの七の部分がちょっと変だなって気づいて、これはね、七じゃなくて二なんだよ。下の横に忘れて消えちゃってるだけ。え、本当に？ Suzuha stares at the inscription on the pin again. Oh, well, Mayuri would know, right? Because she's into, like, doing costumes and stuff. Look at Mayuri coming through. O S H M A. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Is it like. Like, is it the letter? Oh. I'm just gonna let Myri tell me. I was like, I could try and figure this out, but I might be here for a little while. I was like, maybe it's Myri. Oh, Myri, Hashida, Suzaha, Okabe. Maybe? And then there's the blanks, and then there's A. Hmm. That's what's inscribed on the pin. <gasps> yes! Oshina. Oh, Makise. I keep, I keep getting the names mixed up because there's like first names and last names. It's like, what would they go? So, Okabe, Shina, Hashina, Makise, and Amane. Okay. It was right in front of us all along. We just didn't know where to look. Yeah. The year of the lab memes? Mirai Gazet to Kenkyo Joga Dictanoa, Kotosidamo. So you kotoka. Then, eh? Suzu san kara kita Mirai no Hanasiniwa. オカリンとクリスちゃんの話は出てくるけど、ダルくんの話はちっとも出てこなかったでしょ。Look at you, Myri. You you took a physical thing and then you made like a good analysis based on it. Look at us. We're all sleeping on Myri and she is the hero right now. それを言うならマユシだって。Dara's observation startles me. It's an obvious thing to wonder about, but it strikes too close to home. Oh, it's because she died probably in that timeline, so we gotta fix it. マユシーはラボメンだけどタイムマシンは作れないし争い事も好きじゃないから
No, the reason there aren't any stories about Mayuri is because she dies in a few hours. Only Kurisu, Suzuha, and I know that, and we say nothing. でもね、誰くんはスーパーハッカーだし、オカリンとダルくんの Barrel. Is it barrel because he's like shaped like a barrel? Is that where he got his nickname from? Reading spaghetti? Oh my gosh, you're precious. Reading <laughs> ね、誰くんならぴったりでしょ。確かに。それにね、すずさんがお父さんと会おうとしていた日のこと覚えてる？タイムマシンオフ会に行けば、お父さんに会えると思ったんだよね。And Dora was supposed to be there, but then Okabe took him and said like, "Oh, Ferris is going to be there," and then he, oh, okay. We know that because we tailed her. ちなみにダル君もその Oh, I thought he didn't go. Maybe that was in one of the timelines. I don't remember that. It must have happened because of the D-mail I sent. This is the curse of reading Steiner. Although I keep my memories from previous world lines, I don't acquire memories of events on new world lines. Okay, so he didn't go. She wouldn't have believed that he was the father. <laughs> She's like, you don't fit the aesthetic of what I was hoping my dad would look like. Still, the evidence keeps piling up. Well, I feel kind of proud. I was like, uh, Myri and I were kind of on this. Like, I was doing some deducing myself based on things that uh, Amane said, but not anywhere near to the degree that Myri picked up on. time machine. FG204なんとかかんとかって言うんだけど。えっと。なんだっけ?FG204セカンドエディション。Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's the way Daru That's the way he names things, derp. そ、そのネーミングセンスは間違いなくダル。それにFGはね。so Suzuha's time machine is Future Gabbit Gadget number 204. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Kurisu nods. Taru? Taru? Daru? Dajare? Oh my gosh. Dene dene, Suzu san. Hashida itaru te, jukai itte mi te. I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was because of his size. I feel bad now for saying that. Or maybe it's kind of is. Oh 
抱いたーって聞こえなかった聞こえた Oh my gosh Myri, dang girl Be a... Okay, be a detective 橋だいたる橋だいたる橋だいたる橋だいたる And that's where I can watch... Oh my gosh マジでマジです<laughs> Don't any of you underestimate her again. I can't believe it. But with all this evidence laid out in front of me, I can't deny it either. Everyone's jaw drops again. Only this time, we're staring at Daru and Suzaha. Hey, Daru, you want to apologize for all those gross things you said to your daughter? She's like, excuse me? Excusez-moi? Alright, tips list. Placebo effect. A placebo is something that seems like medicine but has no medicinal effect. When taken by a patient who believes it to be medicine, it gives them psychological stability. Despite placebos having no medicinal effect, they are cases where a patient's condition improves. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> eh? She's such a ditz most of the time, but maybe she's more perceptive than anyone knows. He's like, that means I've had sex at some point. Hell yeah. <laughs> Daru, wide-eyed, points at Suzuha while flapping his lips like a fish out of water. So, 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 and she's like, you're so less cool than I thought. Mm. <laughs> Suzuha walks up to Daru and hugs him gently. Daru awkwardly, but firmly, hugs her back. Father and daughter reunited, ac uh, reunited across time. I'm truly glad we could bring them together. Ah, goddammit. Ugh, dude. <laughs> When Suzuha finally steps away from Daru, she's smiling once again. Man, that was uh, down to the wire there. What am I doing? Suzuha's mind is set. I know that nothing I can say will convince her to stay. It's madness to even try. If she stays, Myri dies. I know that. So why am I trying to stop her? She looks at us with the face of a warrior. Was that? Oh, no, that was Ferris who brought it the first time. I was like, when they first found it at the shrine, I was like, maybe that's where she put it. But no, that was Ferris who, her father, um, donated it. Nobody speaks. Nobody nods. We don't have the words. But she sees it in our faces. Resolve. 
Suzaha has entrusted us with her will and her mission. We meet her gaze, each of us, and silently swear to protect them to the end. The future Suzaha came from is not the future we desire. In Suzaha's time, Daru and I fought to change it. This time, we'll make sure it never happens. Myri will live. Karisu will be free. Suzaha will grow up knowing her father. We must change the future, that all these things may come to pass. With that final warning, Suzaha boards the time machine. She waves once, and then the hatch closes behind her. Moments later, the machine comes to life. Oh wow, it's actually happening. A shrill alarm starts ringing. There are no other sounds. It makes less noise than I'd expect. People on the street below start shouting and cheering at the satellite's sudden activity. They all look up and point. My phone vibrates. I quickly take it out and open it. The mail is from Suzaha. Okay, I think this might be where... Because I was told to do certain things at certain times. I was not given any, um, like detail about it. It just says, like, when certain things happen, do or don't do certain things. So let me just bring up my note here and see what it says. Alright, thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. When I failed to stop her on a previous world line, she sent me the exact same message before leaving. But this time, the world holds a completely different meaning. I lift my eyes from the message to see the space around the time machine begin to warp. A cocoon of light appears and envelops the, fus uh, the fuselage. I squint my eyes against the brilliance. Suzaha. We will never see her again. Not this Suzaha. Yes, we can seek her out in our time. I know that I'll make the effort. But the next time we meet, an immense gulf of time will have divided us. No matter how hard we wish it were different, she will not be the girl we knew. All of a sudden, Daru takes a step into the light. His words probably can't reach her anymore. As the light grows more intense, I raise my hand to shield my eyes. Bathed in radiant particles, the cocoon slowly, slowly unfurls. The next thing I know, Suzaha's time machine has vanished into thin air, leaving a hole the size of a dump truck in Radikon's wall. The air is thick with the smell of ozone, and seems to pulse softly where the machine stood. We stand there for a while, staring silently at the empty spot while the summer breeze blows gently past, as if the wind were fate itself. So I realize I have to wait until the end of the chapter to send a D-mail, so I do nothing to reach Suzaha's ending. So I couldn't do anything right there. I thought that might have been the moment, but I guess not. Unfortunately, we don't have time to mourn her departure. In about an hour and a half, Mulka's group will attack the lab. Before that happens, we need to acquire the IBN 5100 that Suzaha went to 1975 to obtain. The time machine's sudden disappearance has thrown the area into chaos, which makes, it, which makes it easy for us to slip out unnoticed. See you in 35 years, Suzaha said. 54-year-old Suzaha should be here in Akiba. Before she left, we decided the time machine's disappearance would be her cue to bring the IBN 5100 to the lab. But when we return to the lab, there's no 54-year-old woman waiting for us. It seems Suzaha hasn't come yet. <sighs> Krisu gasps for breath while Mahiri calmly munches on a banana. As I check the lab for any sign of Suzaha, a line of red numbers catches my eye. Oh, the time divergence. The meter reads 0.337187%. Divergence hasn't changed. Reading Steiner didn't activate this time, so I suspected that might be the case. Let's think this through. I thought, that 
I thought that divergence would change the instant Suzaha obtained an IBN 5100 in 1975. But maybe there's something else that needs to happen. Will it change the instant Suzaha hands me the IBN 5100? Or will it change when we use the IBN 5100 to delete my email from CERN's database? At any rate, all we can do now is wait for Suzaha to arrive. Oh, this is scary. It's like they don't have a lot of time before Mocha shows up. Now, Suzaha is 54 years old. After catching his breath, Daru speaks. If my daughter is 30 years old, I feel like I don't want to see it or see it. So, if I'm married, I don't think I'm married. I'm 54 years old. So, I'm going to be in this year, I'm going to be in this year, I'm going to be in this year, I'm going to be in this year. <laughs> A knock on the door interrupts their idle chatter. It must be Suzaha. Everyone looks at me, with a strange mixture of anticipation and anxiety as slowly open the door. Oh! Okabe! Instead of an old woman, we get a wall of muscle. Our disappointment is palpable. Mr. Braun peeks into the lab. Shut up, Mayuri! Kurisu covers Mayuri's mouth. We don't have time for this, but I can't just order him to leave. Not unless I want another cracked skull. Kanojo wa jikka ni kaeru to itte imashita yo. Mo koko ni wa konai de shou. Nani? So na no ka? Ano gaki. The future is changing. Isn't that proof? On my previous leaps, Mr. Braun never came by the lab. This must be related to Suzaha's trip to 1975. Surely it's a good sign. Now, as long as the attractor field didn't amend history again, Mr. Braun sighs, then turns to me with a serious expression. He hands me an envelope. It's addressed to Okabe Rentaro, but there's no stamp or postmark. The name Hashida Suzu is written on the back. Aw, sweet, she's using her last name now that she knows it. Oh, used to own the building. God, can you not make the connection, Okabe? Like, Hashida, or Hashida, that's... Daru's last name, is it not? And then Suzu instead of Suzaha. Like, come on. Suzu-san? Suzu-san. Of course, do we need Mayuri to, like, tell you what's going on, my dude? The name on the back reads Hashida Suzu. Hashida is Daru's surname. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's dead? A wave of dizziness nearly sweeps me off my feet. The age fits. Mr. Braun clearly doesn't understand our reaction, and we're not about to explain. I thank him again. He grumbles a bit and leaves. Hopefully she's not actually dead and she's just saying that, um, so that she can stay hidden, I hope. As soon as he's gone, I break the seal and open the envelope. Inside is a handwritten letter. The characters are slightly messy, as if her hand was shaking as she wrote it. Her eyes, transfixed, begin to read. Okabe Rintaro-sama. 
アマネスズハです足田タイターの娘ですあなたにとってはつい数時間前以来のことかもしれない今は西暦2000年の6月13日ですこれをあなたが読んでいる大体10年前ということになります結論だけ書く失敗した Oh, she failed. Oh, shit. 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 Oh,
はとても嬉しかったけどでもそこで引き止めたのは失敗だったの。Can I go back that? Oh, but the time machine only lets me go back a certain amount of time. Can I go back to that time and just not stop her? That's the choice maybe I have to make to change the ending here. Okay, so yeah, so maybe that's the point there where he can send the D mail being like either. Like, don't send it, and then she goes and it changes, or I do send it and then it changes it. Okay. Okay, that's the thing I have to do. IBN 五千百を届けられる使命を果たせる。私は使命を果たしたい。父さんと約束したから。父さんの意志だから。私の未来を変えたいから。ごめん、ごめん、ごめん。こんな人生は無意味だった。Oh, and then that's oh boy, my hands curl, crumpling the page. I realize that I'm crying. Suzuha failed. She lost her memory. Her life was meaningless. This can't be happening. Nobody says a word. Their faces, like mine, are frozen in disbelief. I turn to Daru. He's whiter than a sheet. Daru. Time machine was. Now it's done. Didn't happen. No. She literally said it wasn't Dad's fault, like, Mare. そうよ二人とも落ち着きなさい橋田はできる限りのことを精一杯やった彼を責めるのはお門違いよお前はなんでそんなに冷静なんだこういう性格なの悪かったなとにかく落ち着け<笑> It's not Dara's fault I know that but it can't end like this it can't What was Suzuha feeling as she wrote this letter? It almost seems like she had taken some pills or something at that last little bit. It's just like streaking down. It's like she's starting to lose consciousness. Maybe I'm looking into it, but I'm like, I feel like she、uh, probably couldn't live with herself after that. I look again at the words scrawled upon the page, every character resonant with despair. I wanted to welcome her back with a smile. Instead, this Suzuha is dead, ten years gone. Wait, how did she die? Don't tell me. Mr. Braun must know what happened. I run to the window and check the street. Mr. Braun is outside closing up shop. Mr. Braun! I run downstairs. Oh, Okabe! Lay no Rajikan no Jinko Eze! Kie Tateo! Osa Hirashize! I guess it's already made the news. So no, dirty. He looks at me hard. I meet his stare unflinching. しておかなければならない。そんな気がするんです。そうしなくちゃいけないんだ。それがどんな最後だったにしろ。この胸に刻みつけておかないと。単なる好奇心ってわけじゃなさそうだな。で。
もう一度聞くがスズさんとはどういう関係だ古い知り合いです That's all I can say. とても古い知り合いででも彼女と過ごしたわずかな時間は今もはっきり思い出すことができるんです聞かせてくださいあまり言いたくはないんだがなこれから俺が言うことは心して聞けよいいか I slowly nod and then I get my answer 自殺だ Yep、yeah. The word drops on my heart like an anvil My knees give out I collapse to the pavement Suicide Oh Oh wow My life was meaningless I recall the last words she wrote in her letter Words of unimaginable despair She didn't deserve so bleak an end So that was one year ago I was a little bit of a mental health それまでは明るくて優しい人だったんだが俺はあの人の家に下宿させてもらってたんだスーズさんは天涯孤独だったし葬式にはほとんど人は来なかった寂しいもんだったぜさっきの手紙はスーズさんが死ぬ1週間前に渡された2010年の今日になったら岡部凛太郎という青年に渡してくれってなスズさんは予知能力でも持ってたのかと思ったぜおめえが上に越してきた時はな Enough I can't take it anymore I try to stand up but my legs betray me I stumble but before I fall a small body supports my shoulder おかり大丈夫 Myri. It must be taking all her strength to hold me up. Did Myri hear how Suzuha died? Her eyes are wet, her lips are trembling. Still, she's the one supporting me. Myra and I bow deeply to Mr. Braun and return to the lab. I mean, I knew it, but it still hits pretty hard. When we get back, Dara was seated at his computer, head on the table. Kurisu is standing in front of the TV, watching an excited reporter talking about Roddy Khan. The disappearance of the satellite is huge news, obviously. The lounge is silent, save for the TV. I look at the table. The divergence meter still reads 0.337187%. It hasn't changed since before Suzaha left. What went wrong? I can't go back ten years with the time leap machine. I can't do anything about Suzaha's death. Should I have stopped her from leaving at all? Maybe then this tragedy wouldn't have happened. No, what choice did I have? I can't save Myri without the IBN 5100. Suzaha had to travel to 1975. I consider my options. What if I redo these two days again? Could Daru fix the time machine so this doesn't happen? Is fixing the time machine even possible? Daru's skills are second to none, and the time machine was built by his own hand 26 years in the future. It seems logical he'd be able to fix it. But look at it another way. It took Daru 26 years to learn enough to build the time machine, and he had to reverse engineer CERNs to do it. Maybe it's unreasonable to expect our Daru to perform flawless repairs in only two days. In that case, can I have Daru use his time leap machine and repeat these two days until he repairs it? No, he'll have to start from scratch each time. Two days just aren't enough. I collapse onto the sofa and bury my face in my hands. Myri sits next to me and gently rubs my back. I'm grateful for her kindness. I recall what Suzaha wrote. If you can go back to that day, please, please let me leave. The d m a i l I sent. So here's the thing it tells me it tells me don't send d m a i l to get Suzaha's ending. But the thing is, if I do send the d m a i l I'm gonna fuck her over. I'm gonna fuck all of us over. I have to assume. There's got to be some sort of alternate timeline where everybody manages to survive, I hope. Could that be the cause? On the original world line, Suzaha leapt to 1975 after failing to meet her father. Unsatisfied with that outcome, I sent a d m a i l to convince myself to follow Suzaha and prevent her from leaving. As a result, she remained in 2010 for another additional four years.、Uh, four years, geez, four days. But that night, the time machine was damaged by a thunderstorm. 
If I hadn't followed Suzaha that day, if I hadn't sent that D-mail to myself, her time machine would not have malfunctioned. She would have arrived safely in 1975. The solution is obvious. I need to cancel that D-mail. But can I really do that? If I change the pass so that Suzaha leaves, won't that undo the four days we spent together? A frantic search through the streets of Akiba. Her heartfelt confession on the roof of Radikon. Her tearful reunion with her father, Daru. All of it will be undone. What do I do? An urgent bulletin pops up on the TV. Oh, he's got to go now because that's the, um, that's the bomb threat. I look up in surprise. Bomb threat suspends Yamanote, Sobu, Keihin Toku lines. Damn, Mocha's men will be here any minute. There's no time to think, no time to hesitate. I run downstairs, break into the prawn tomb workshop, and turn on the 42-inch CRT. Then I return to the lab and activate the time leap machine. Karisu demands answers. I can see the fear in her eyes. Don't try to stop me, Myri. I can't let this stand. There are two options. I can cancel the D-mail that convinced me to pursue Suzaha. Sending a contradictory D-mail should do the trick. Or, I can time leap again and prevent Suzaha from leaving. Two options, but really, just one. Do not hesitate, Okabe Ritaro. Hesitation is unforgivable. Alright, so don't send the D-mail. You know what you must do. Stop pursuit. Last mail. Is CERN trap. That should be enough to convince me to let Suzaha go. Chris. お前は日付を正確に覚えている特技があったな。え、うん。もう。鈴葉の励ましかいをやったのはいつだ。4日前、8月9日。おかり。D-mail を送るの。でもそうしたら全部消えちゃうんだよ。Four days. It may not sound like much, but in that time, we forged a definite bond with Suzaha. To send this email is to sever that bond. I know that. I know that. But this is the only choice I have. I set the phone wave to 97 hours ago. This email should arrive a few hours out of the first. Okay, so it says not to send the email, but the game seems to, like, not really be giving me a choice here. Now I just need to send it. Okay, don't send it. Save Myri. That is my purpose. That is what drove me to leap through time. I'll do whatever it takes to save her, except send this D-mail that will totally save her. This is just one more sacrifice. Erase the time you spent with Suzaha. Destroy whatever bond you had. Send the D-mail. Don't send the D-mail. Push the button. Don't push the button. Isn't that what Suzaha wants? You'll be saving her from 25 years of loneliness, from ending her life in utter despair. Save Suzaha. Save Myri. This is the right thing to do. This is right. But is it really? Is erasing those memories really the right thing to do? Isn't that just running away from reality? Shouldn't I try time leaping first? Maybe there's another way. What should I do? Okay, so I'm gonna do the time leap, right? What's the right choice? Stop. You're starting to doubt. Never doubt. I don't know the answer. But I need to reach a conclusion, or else. I... I can't. Okay, so there, at that moment, I had to... I'm, I'm assuming I had to bring up my phone and send the email. So this is me going, by not doing anything, this is me choosing the Suzaha ending. I can't do it. I can't send this email. Act, acting on impulse, I don the headgear and punch in a 48-hour time leap. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is going to be the bad end. He's like, I don't, I have no plan at all. I ignore her and bite down hard on my lip. As the taste of blood fills my mouth, I press the button. <laughs> the 
The world twists. My legs shake. I cover my eyes and wait for my senses to return to normal. A thousand emotions stampede through my skull and fade away. I stare vacantly at Karisu, who is standing in front of me. At first, I can't hear her over the buzzing in my ears, but little by little, her voice becomes clear. <laughs> Karisu thrusts her finger at me like an angry school teacher. まだ時間はあるんだから、そんなに焦らないで。それより、あんたにぶっ倒れられたら、私はともかく、マユリが心配するでしょ。少しは自分の体も痛まりなさい。The time leap worked. I nod to Kurisu, then collapse onto the sofa. I couldn't sacrifice either of them. In a sense, I am running away. But there was no other choice, except there literally was. No other way to save Suzuha and Mayuri both. In two days, Mayuri will die and Suzuha will be lost to the past. So, I love it. It's like, I can't save, I can save one or the other, so I'm choosing to save neither. If these two days are all we have left, then all I can do is repeat them. Forever. Let these two days be the rest of my life. Is he just gonna, like, Groundhog Day this? And he's like, well, I might as well make it the best I can. <laughs> oh, he is too. <laughs> oh, there's, it's cute, but there's, like, a sadness to it. The wind caresses my cheek. I push down on the pedals and begin the ascent up Harumi Bridge. The spokes revolve rhythm rhythmically. <laughs> wow, why can't I say that word? Rhythmically? Reflecting the sunlight. Sweat oozes out of every pore, but it's not unpleasant. It feels good, healthy, like running around the school field as a child. Daru is not having fun, though. <laughs> I was just gonna say, why? What did you do to convince Daru to be able to, to come along with this? <laughs> <laughs> Leading the way at, at a terrific pace is Suzuha on her trusty mountain bike. That's sweet, he's like, I'm gonna give her the best time that I can give her. From here, you can see across Tokyo Bay, all the way to Rainbow Bridge in the distance. Akiba and the jumbled sprawl of central Tokyo are two hours ride behind us. Here on this artificial island, there are only sky uh, skyscrapers and vacant lots, one extreme or the other. One time, I took the bus back to Akiba after Kamima, so I already knew how close it was, but I never thought I'd come here by bike. Except for Suzuha, we're all using rent-a-cycles. Uh, rent I wanted a change of pace from the search for the unfindable pin, so I proposed this cycling expedition. Of course, I already know who the pin belongs to, and who Suzuha's father is. But I have chosen not to tell anyone. If at all possible, I want to spend these two days in peace and delay Suzuha's time travel. That is my goal now. <laughs> I wonder if she's got to know that there's a re there's got to be a reason Okab Okabe would like suggest this, right? Like that's so out of the blue for him to suggest like, hey, let's not work on the time machine or fixing, uh, you know, like let's not work on the phone wave or the time machine or look for your father. Let's just go take a bike ride two hours away. <laughs> <laughs> Kurisu and Daru are exhausted, while Suzuha and Mayuri are still going strong. I already know the distance between Akiba and Arake, so I'm able to pace myself in order to conserve energy. Ma 
無理もう無理オカリン詳しいんだねこの辺来たことあるのああ何度もな How long have I been living in this closed loop of time? It's already getting hard to keep track of the days, so instead I think in two day cycles. This should be the fourth cycle. This time, only I know that Myri is fated to die. By keeping that secret, I allow us to spend these days like normal kids our age would. The cycling expedition is part of that. Suzuha and Myri enjoy the ride, so I make sure we do it each time I repeat the loop. Our current destination is Tokyo Big Site, the massive convention center in Arake. In a few days, it will be home to Kamima, the world's largest do doujinshi marketplace event. I probably butchering that. Koko ma de kureba, big site wa sugu da. Ato jippun mo shinai uchi ni tsuku daro. Sono mai ni kyukei o. Daro has used up the last of his strength. While still on his bike, he rests his body against the guardrail separating us from the road. I turn up. I turn and pull up next to Daro's bike. Sono mama no kakkou de iru to abunai zan. What if he kills Daru in this one? Like something happens and I was like, God damn it. I sigh and pull Daru up by the arm. Daru stands up. A second later. A huge truck speeds past. The gust of wind left in its wake nearly bowls us over. The bridge sways beneath our feet. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have hit him anyway, but still, best to be careful. Myri's innocent smile. Kurisu's cynical grin. To them, it's a joke, but they're not mistaken. The only thing they got wrong was that I didn't send a D-mail. I time-leaped. No, if I had sent a D-mail, uh, things would be better, actually. Suzuha's eyes meet mine. She was laughing just a moment ago, but now she looks confused, uncertain. I avert my eyes. Seichiyo! I came Daru, his vigor restored, faces big sight with his arms spread wide. In the emptiness, it's easy to see how truly majestic big sight is. A Kamima, when you're wading through a sea of people, it's just another big building. The three of them go searching for the family restaurant. Oh, Suzuha is going to pull him aside and be like, hey, why are we doing this? Suzuha is still gazing at Big Sight. Suzuha. I ask the question, though I already know how she'll answer. She's excited to see Big Sight in real life. Big Sight! Suzuha's eyes are shining. Gotta, you just gotta think how boring it would be. Like, going back in time sounds fun, but then you gotta think just the mundane, just hearing the same conversations over and over again. Suzuha points to the middle of Tokyo Bay. Let's talk about your mom, please. Fujoshi? I don't know what that means. 
ちょっとだけ父さんに近づけた気がする。A sharp pain stabs through my heart. I know who Suzuha's father is. He's right over there. But I won't tell her. Not until the afternoon of the 13th when the time leap machine is complete. For now, I just want to prolong these two days of peace. Suzuha grabs my hand and we take off running. Somehow, I manage to force a smile. Today was fun. Tomorrow will be fun. Every day will be fun, forever. <laughs> the wind caresses my cheek. I push down on the pedals and begin the ascent up Harumi Bridge. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and. I reply mechanically. I wonder if this is how the game is going to punish me. It's just like, how many times is it going to make me repeat this before, it, uh, you know, it either gives me a chance to go back or I have to like reload a save or, you know, get whatever this ending is? What cycle is this? My tenth? It must be more than that by now. I'm still repeating the same two days. Moka's attack? Myri's death? Those things will never, ever happen. Today, once again, we're off on an adventure. Like, I'd at least do something different, you know, each time. Something fun still, but... Oh, oh, I swallow my words. Thoughts too dark to be my own suddenly slip into mind. What will happen? Oh, what will happen if I don't pull Daru back? He's just like, I just want to change a pace. Will the truck catch on Daru's fat? Will it send him flying like a rag doll? Will it take off his head? Will blood spray from the stump like crimson, like a crimson fountain? Jesus, that's dark. He is. He's just like, I'm just so bored of this. I just want something different to happen, even if, even if it's something horrible. As long as Okabe doesn't die, then he can just repeat this over and over again. Will the girl scream, I wonder? Let's find out. Oh, shit. What difference does it make if Daru dies? I can just time leap again, can't I? Oh, he's turning into like a bored god right now. Go back to the start of the loop and Daru will be as good as new. Besides, everyone needs a little spice in their life. Damn, for these two days, I am God. I choose who lives and who. <laughs> the sound of a horn blasts my eardrums. Daru jerks back from the guardrail. A split second later, the truck howls past. Daru loses his balance and falls on his butt. Oh, <gasps> Karisu and Suzuha get off their bicycles and help Daru up. The truck has already crossed the intersection after the bridge. We watch it drive away. Everyone's fussing over Daru. I stand a few steps away, staring at my hands. I'm glad it ended as something to laugh about, but what was I thinking just now? I began this loop so no one would be hurt. So that Myri would live and Suzuha would never go back in time. Yet just now, I was ready to watch Daru die. Some part of me wanted it to happen. <laughs> I cower in reflex upon hearing my name. Suzuha is staring at me. 
There are questions in her eyes. She can't have heard my dark thoughts just now. And yet, I feel like she can see right through me. I use a purposefully extravagant tone to cover up my guilty thoughts and start pedaling. I am this world's observer. Nothing can escape my subjectivity. Everything and everyone exists as I will it. Myri, Karisu, Daru, even Suzaha. I had a feeling he was going to get this, eventually get this weird kind of complex, you know, with him basically being a time god. Here we can live in peace and harmony. None of us need ever face death. A 48 hour eternity. I am the creator of this paradise. And so I know. Tomorrow will be another wonderful day. Until more intrusive thoughts come out. <laughs> Daru, his vigor restored, greets Big Sight with his arms spread wide. So I'm just gonna skip it until something new happens, so... Three of them go searching for the family restaurant. Suzaha is still gazing at Big Sight. My eyes roam her body. Oh no, don't be weird, dude! Those tight legs- Oh god, I hate this- I hate this Okabe. I hate him. That slender body. Her clothes accentuate all her fine curves. Oh, he's like- Is he thinking like, I could do something to her and she would never know because I can just go back in time and she wouldn't even be aware. Her breasts are surprisingly large. Something stirs in my heart, hot and heavy like thick lava. It whispers to me words like poison. What if? What if I lure her into a dark corner and have my way with her? What then? Oh, you were so bad! Getting her alone would be simple enough. All I have to do is offer information on her father and she'll follow me anywhere. To make matters easier, no Amane Suzaha exists in present-day Japan. No documents proving Japanese citizenship, not even a birth certificate. Oh, I wonder if this is like talking like, you know, the whole like with great power comes great responsibility and don't let it taint you. He is letting it taint him right now. Oh, I hate this. It's only natural. She won't be born for another seven years. So even if she runs to the police, nobody will believe a word she says. I imagine she'll put up a fight. She was a member of the resistance in her time and I know she's stronger than she looks. But she's still just a girl. It may take some doing, but I'll have my way with her in the end. Another me, Hoi and Kyoma perhaps, is whispering inside my head. Oh, don't blame him for this, my dude. You want a woman, don't you, it says? Of course you do. It's instinct. So what if she's Daro's daughter? So what if she's on a mission to save the future? Forget about that. She's a fine woman, that's all. You're not a saint, Okabe Rintaro. What was it you call yourself again? That's right, an insane mad scientist. If you're really insane, then let's see you snap. Remember, you have the power of a god. You can rape her and then undo it with a time leap machine. And hey, while you're at it, why not taste the same girl's virginity over and over again? <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst. Wouldn't that be something? All those virgins only freaks would kill to be you. Hell, why stop at rape? Think of what else you could do with the Time Leap Machine. Murder, steal, kidnap, destroy. Is that the best you can do, Okabe Rintaro? Is that really all the evil in your heart? Well, I guess we're only human after all. Think about it, Okabe Rintaro. Sure, uh, sure you wanted this loop, but repeat the same two days forever? Sounds like torture to me. Aren't you tired of it already? So maybe instead of going right to rape, Let's maybe, like, do something other than a bike ride. Maybe let's just do something else instead of, like, you going from zero to fucking a hundred and, like, Jesus. Oh, I hate this. I hope all of the alternate endings are not this upsetting. <laughs> the 
These two days should be your paradise. Forget about petty laws and morals. If they're making me feel bad for doing what's not, you know, the canon thing to do, uh, they're, they're accomplishing it. I feel terrible. You're a hunter. Taboos mean nothing to you. Hunt your prey and eat your fill. The voice is right. I am the observer. I am God. I can do anything. Do her. Kill her. Rape her. Ugh. No one can judge me in this closed loop of time. Forget your morals. Trust your primal urges. Follow your instincts. <laughs> please, please don't let it happen. I, I need- I, I feel like I can't- like, I know this is like an alternate thing. This isn't the canon thing, but I feel like I'm not gonna fully like him as much, knowing that he ha even had these thoughts. I cover my ears and avert my eyes from Susan. Like, I get it. I feel like almost everybody has had intrusive thoughts at some point, but it's still... Ah. Bzz, bzz, bzz. My ears are ringing. Someone is trying to crush my soul, projecting thoughts not my own into the screen of my heart. Suddenly, Suzuha grabs me by the shoulders and peers into my face. The warmth from her hands makes the buzzing grow louder. Please don't do anything. Please don't do anything. I'm afraid to look at Suzuha with these dark feelings clogging my mind. I shake her off and flee towards Big Sight. Don't follow him. Don't follow him, please. I need to get away from Suzuha. If I don't, I might give in to the urge. I stare at my hands. Clench, open, clench, open. Repeat, repeat. My hands still move, just as I expect them to. Just as I order them to. But those dark impulses, the devil's whispers. How can I explain those? What the hell was that? What's happening to me? I start to tremble. My teeth chatter. The sun's hot enough to burn my skin, but I feel cold. I'm afraid of myself. I'm still okay, aren't I? I am Hoyan Kiyoma. Okabe Rintaro. Well, Krisu did say if you time leap too much, it could affect him. Uh, she probably meant more physically, but uh, emotionally it's not doing a great job. The insane mad scientist with a fetish for science and chaos. See? I still know who I am. What is that supposed to mean? Will I eventually lose control of myself? Am I going to break? Like a Mo uh, Mobius strip, the same two days go round and round and round and round and round and round and round. But today I failed to keep them the same. My feelings became twisted. Today, on Harumi Bridge, I didn't just hesitate to save Daru. I nearly yielded to my dark emotions. Dark emotions. Dark impulses. Emotions seeping with venom. I listened to their poisonous, disgusting whispers. And I was almost drawn in. There's no denying it. Worse, that was but a taste of what might lurk inside my heart. If those emotions attack me again, this time crashing over me like a tsunami, will I be able to control myself? Myri, Karisu. Daru. Suzaha. Will I be able to keep myself from hurting them no matter what? Will I be able to keep everyone safe in this loop I made for Myri and Suzaha's sake? Do I really have such strength? I don't know. That answer is hardly reassuring. But for now, it's the only answer I've got. This endless loop is the world I wished for. I can only protect this world. Only I can protect this world. I pray that those impulses were just a fluke, that they'll never resurface again. I ask only that tomorrow will be peaceful. The wind caresses my cheek. I push down on the pedals and begin the ascent up Harumi Bridge and <laughs> no more happy music here. <laughs> so it's like he's saying the same things, but there's this darkness that's just, you know, underlying it. <laughs> 
メタボだからもっと運動しておくべきだと思うよデブオタ上等。All right, same, same thing. Same thing. I mean, once again, don't get me wrong, I would get anno like, annoyed, maybe a little bit bored for sure, and just of the monotony. But once again, just do something different. Maybe switch it up every like, third time leap, you know? Oh, then do it. Oh, okay. Everyone turns to look at me. Well, so much for that being a fluke. Just a look at it. あんたいきなり何言い出してんのよオカリンそういうこと言っちゃダメなんだよ You better not snap at Myri You better not つーかオカリンなんで切れてんの別にコンビニが橋を二つ渡った先にあるそこまで文句言わずに耐えろげそうなん意外と距離あるな Hundreds of days have passed since, th since this began. Maybe thousands. How many cycles has it been? I've repeated this loop so many times that I've grown tired of keeping track. I can barely remember the reason I started. The days go by like tearing pages from a calendar. Everyone says the same things. Everyone responds the same way. I've noticed that my biorhythms seem a bit off, but aside from that, every day is the same. Same, 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 same. Yes, subtle deviations occur. But it's all within acceptable limits. In the end, the result is always the same. Everything that happens is insignificant, meaningless, pointless. I'm the only one still living in this loop. Everyone else is just being kept alive. By me. We're just spinning our wheels in a dead world. My soul died some cycles back. I don't remember. Alright, game, I get it. I made the wrong choice. Jeez. <laughs> this isn't life. Myri's death? Mocha's raid? Suzaha's time travel? I may have cared about those things once. Not anymore. When did I stop caring? When did I become a machine looping and looping for all eternity? Nothing matters. When these two days are over, they'll start again. Everything will be reset. I will reset it myself. Then I guess it's pointless to worry. Maybe one time he's just gonna decide, like, I'm not gonna reset it. I just wanna see what happens. Ridiculous. How many times have I repeated this loop? My senses have gone dull. It's getting harder to respond to the things I see and hear. I feel detached, like I'm isolated inside a thin membrane. And I've already gotten used to it. I don't find it inconvenient anymore. I simply adapted. I simply optimized. To this far too narrow world. To this far too gentle world. Why shouldn't I adapt? This is my world. cycling <sighs> Daru has used up the last of his strength. While still on his bike, he rests his body against the guardrail separating us from the road. I stop my bicycle and watch impassively. <laughs> the horn blares. Daru jerks away from the rail. A split second later, the truck howls past. Daru loses his balance and falls on his butt. Oh, oh, boom! Karisu and Suzuha get off their bicycles and help Daru up. The truck has already crossed the intersection after the bridge. We watch it drive away. Ah, <laughs> The truck's number smoothly rolls off my tongue. 
I've seen it so many times, it's like a brand on my brain. I hold my phone out. Oh, it's so, so weird hearing him so just, like, he's usually so animated and he's just so dead. My tone is flat. I'm just saying whatever comes to mind. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. He's gonna say something to Mayuri, and that is gonna go too far. I ignore Mayuri and shove my phone at Daru. I sigh and put away my phone. Suzuha is staring at me again. She looks like she wants to say something. But who cares what she thinks? I feel nothing. The tired Karisu, the re-energized Daru, and the ever-energetic Mairi repeat the same conversation I've seen hundreds of times. And then they go search for the restaurant. <laughs> I turn my back to them and walk towards the ocean. But Suzuha stands in front of me, blocking my way. Oh, please don't do anything to Suzuha, please. Her eyes bore into mine. I try to pass without saying anything. But she cuts me off. I see the sincere sin uh, concern in her eyes, but it can no longer sway my heart. Not even a little. What? What the hell is she talking about? Kōiは I was trying to brush her off, but Suzuha keeps talking. <laughs> Which is like the opposite of what's happening here. Her gaze seems to pierce through everything. I find myself blinking involuntarily. Then my eyes drop to my feet. A hoarse voice leaks from the back of my throat. It doesn't sound like my own. I feel my heart skip a beat. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. <laughs> Suddenly, Suzuha seizes my arm. Slowly, feelings rise from the depths of my heart, like an oiled machine grinding back to life. Nando 
だからなんでこんなことさあなもうその理由もどうでもよくなってきている君は何から逃げてるのそう確かに逃げている逃げ込んだマユリを殺させないためにそれは私が1975年へ飛べば解決されることでいいやお,お前は失敗するそして孤独な25年を過ごした挙句首をつって死んでいくんだよえ何をだから俺はこのループに逃げ込んだマユリもお前も死なせないために That's it. That was the reason. Like, I feel bad. It started with, like, a good, you know, like, he wanted to do it to save people, and then he just ended up, like, sacrificing his own sanity for it. But I entered this loop, resolved to save them. But my resolve has long since turned to dust. But you don't live either. <laughs> それは君の主観だよ世界は君に関係なく未来へと続いていくの君がこの2日間を何千回何万回ループさせたってシーナマユリが死ぬことに変わりはない根本的解決にはならない俺は別に My lips twist into a self-deriding smile 根本的解決をしようなんて思わないいつまでもこのループを続けるつもりそうだそれを受け入れた何が受け入れたなの自分がおかしくなり始めてることに気づいてないのおかしくなったとしても世界は続く2日間のループは続く俺がおかしくなってもループは止めない。Once again, unless he dies, then nothing, you know, he can't go back. 時間の止まった世界で、このまま生きていくことに耐えられるの君はこの輪を永遠に終わらせることはできないんだよ。肉体的には死ぬことはない。でも、岡部倫太郎、君の心は死に始めてる。だ。しょうがないだろう。俺には。誰かを無慈悲に犠牲にする覚悟なんて。ないんだ。マユリも。鈴葉も。仲間だ。どちらも失うわけにはいかない。鈴葉 hangs her head with a sorrowful expression。Is the inter interrogation over? I try to end the conversation by walking towards the sea again, but she grabs my hand to stop me. Shizuha bites her lip and hangs her head. Maybe I shouldn't have told her the truth. But it doesn't really matter. If I time leap again, this conversation will never have happened. Oh! I come with her to the past? Oh, there's a change. You want to change things up? There you go. I need <laughs> 1975. I need, I need disco <laughs> Okabe. <laughs> That's the last thing I expected to hear. Go with her to 1975? Suzuha grasped my hand tightly. 
私が失敗しないように助けてもらうあるいは未来を変えるための別の方法を探すできるのか My heart beats. My eyes open. Color returns to the world. もしかするととんでもない方向へ分岐するかもしれないあるいは君の知ってる世界じゃなくなるかもしれないしみんながラボメンとして君の仲間になるかどうかもわからなくなるしそもそもシーナマユリもハシダイタルもマキセクリスも
but still, I never thought I'd be so thankful to not know what's coming next. It's so stimulating it sends shivers down my spine. I feel like I'm actually here. Mayuri, Daru, Kurisu. I left them each a handwritten letter. The lab is probably chaos by now. I also mailed letters to my parents and my friends at school telling them not to look for me. My parents will probably be sad, but this time I'm not running away. I want to believe I'm not running away. Suzuha stands next to me looking at the time machine. She finally smiles, though her eyes still shine with unshed tears. むしろ俺は鈴葉に感謝しているお前が誘ってくれなかったら俺は今もあの輪の中で死んだまま生き続けただろうありがとう鈴葉これから一緒に未来を変えるために戦うぞ We clasp our hands. Suzuha's grip is so strong it kind of hurts. But that pain tells me I'm alive. Aww, nobody sends us off. Nobody could. This is a one-way trip through time. Once we go, there's no coming back. 1975, that's before I was even born. We're headed for the past. No, for a future that has yet to be written. Not the world line Suzuha left nor the world line she desired. We are reaching for an entirely new future. Our eyes meet. Our, hand, our hands clasped, uh, clasped tightly. Jeez. I'm so interested to see how this is going to go. Oh. The time has come for us to depart. Our mission to change 35 years of history. We boldly lift our heads ready to challenge fate. Together. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, that's it? <laughs> what? I mean, I know this is not the canon end, but still, like, I wanted to see them in 1975. I hope this are, there's gonna be at least something after, like, an after thing of this to say, like, so this is what happened. So I can have some sort of closure, you know? Okay, well, <laughs> I guess that's it. Um, let me see here. So I got one of six endings so far. Dang, all right. I was kind of hoping, I was like, I want, I wanted their adventures in 1975, but I guess that was too much to expect. <laughs> all right, well, uh, that will wrap it up for this episode. So just like uh, Okabe did, I will go back in time to a previous save and I will choose to send the email and we will just continue on as the game is supposed to go but that was interesting and that was really shocking to see those deep dark thoughts that okabe had and definitely a side to him that i hope never pops up again but i'm glad i did that because that was uh, i mean not a good ending but it was uh it was cool to see kind of the effects of what happens if you play around with time too much but i hope you guys enjoyed that episode and we are going to be continuing right along with uh the canon story uh next time so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye special shout out to my top tier patrons namara kito sparky icognito simon rax mad goldsmith harry gaziff and asborn kennedy